Welcome suckers. This is making wine with the wine maker the easy way. Now my father bought pre-crushed yeah, how many gallons? Six gallon barrels. We get three, three, three of them, right? Yeah. So we got 12 gallons of white, okay. one gallon of red in the corner, maybe six gallon in the corner. Now, when you buy this, how long do you get to let it sit? Six months. So you buy these pre-crushed, we're not crushing this year, we're tired. You get to let it sit in the bucket for six months. And now what we get set up is, we're gonna transfer the fermented wine to our father's jugs. We have a funnel, from this baby cakes. We got a funnel. My father's using a, a wet cloth to be the screen. Yes. And he's ready to funnel the wine into the jugs. Can you dig it, suckers? This is making vino the easy way with the winemaker 101. And can you dig it? Go ahead. Here we go. See that old school funnel system right there? Now, how long does it take? Usually to drain that whole bucket. See, what my father does, he controls the flow with his fingers. He's a professional, so he doesn't overflow out of the funnel because we screen out the bad stuff with the clot. This guy is a true professional. Nobody makes wine the way the winemaker does. The candy digger suckers. Anybody else? He's second best because there's, no, there's no vino better than the winemaker makes in this house. The candy digger. That's it. And swimmer, second place sucks. <laughs> Second place. Yeah, you want to drink a uh, uh, wine? Get the glass. No, I'm good right now. Oh, they don't help, help, help my cold, right? Yeah. Dave, can you give me a little bikini? We're going to tell you. glass of vino? Yeah. No, I'm going to get the glass from this fresh stuff right here. Okay. You give me a, give me a glass. The pimples here, we have um, a lot of celebrities in attendance today. Julie the Jewel's here too. Uh, Wildcat is filming. She's getting her practice in for California. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can break right now. Put it down. Put it here. Come here. Okay. 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 We're gonna taste the fresh batch. Please be careful, Walker. That's a white one. Good stuff. It's gonna help my my flu in about for three weeks. I want to give me a little more. Okay, basta. <laughs> That's Italian. Basta means enough. Can you dig it? Vino. How, 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 what's the toast? How you say it in Italian, Pa? Salute. Salute. I guess what can be driving today? <laughs> Saturday night sets is going to be tough tonight. So basically, you can have. 12 gallons of white and six gallons of red pot, right? Yeah. Now, after you put it in here, do you do anything else or just put the, the cover on? Put the cover on, I'll show you what's done. Okay, so, oh, we're gonna do it with, with the breathers, right? Yeah. See this? Right. We're gonna be putting these in. So, what, it has to ferment some more then? You put a little, um, uh, uh, vodka? Or rum. rum. We're gonna put rum in here. So, we're gonna go, after we're done draining, the wine into the jugs. We're gonna show you how we put rum in these breathers and we put it in, in the bottles. Now, after we do the rum and put it here, how much longer this sits on there? A couple of months. A couple of months with this. We'll, we'll be and back, people. And then you put it in the because it's dry it up. We're we okay, we, we, what my father's doing now is he's putting, what kind of rum is that, Pa? Rum. Roberto? I'll show you. White rum. White rum from Roberto. Roberto. That's my friend. Yeah, Roberto. Ron Roberto, superior rum. That's my father's best friend. So you put the rum in the breather. Right? Cap it. Cap it. And stick it on the six gallon jug. Now, how long you let, let that stay there, Pa? A couple of months. Now, is that white drinkable now, or you, you have to wait a couple months to drink it? No, you can drink. You can drink it right now, like I, like, like, like I was drinking? Yeah, you see, you see that? I was drinking that straight yeah. up. Two, two, two yeah, you can drink it, but now it will ferment a little. Yeah, better. you know the stuff drops. See yeah, the that's one? a pit bull giving his advice on the on the yep. vino. See the gallons there? Yep. That's 15 years. Oh wow. Oh, well, we have a 15 gallon. And what the rum does, so lets the bubbles come yeah, up. Yeah, so I hit the rum button. Two glasses of wine. That jug I need there is is 15 yeah. years old. If my father gives me any crap, I'm gonna steal it. 
Uh, what, what, do you, what do you do, Pa? What do you do if I steal that jug? What jug? The 15 the jug, if I steal that from you. You can kill me? I put it in the honey. No, you're not listening to me. If I steal that jug, what would you do to me? You can drink it. I can drink it? No, you can have it. Let me get it. Okay. Whoop. Yeah. Yeah. The alcohol doesn't dissipate like water. You'd have to keep changing that breather because the water would go away. So yeah. if you put the rum in, you don't last, have to do that. So now we're going to transfer mm. another one. We're getting ready. Wine make is working his magic. We're getting organized. So you touch my radio? Winemaker's don't play with the volume. Um, that's not your part there. Oh, man. We have people. Where's my security team? I'm here. Dave. Okay. Look at Wildcat touching uh, the music. She's not up. What she doing? Yes, here? Pa. What do you want to say, Pa? Talk to me, Papa. What do you want to say? Yeah. This is the best wine. Oh yeah, it's not the better. I'm feeling it right now. I took uh, two glasses. I'm I'm tripping. I wish I had Ed's tolerance. Two glasses. Okay, Pa. I she... can drink that whole bucket. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah, well, I'm ready, Pa. We got. We have the funnel with the clot. But Pa's getting ready to uh, do it old school. So that's how we do it. How come we have to drink half the gallon before we get it? That was my excuse. <laughs> so, what you see right here is the winemaker will be drinking another six gallons into the jug. So, once we're done this procedure, we'll be back again, people. That's the stick. Yeah. Paul, what kind of grapes are these no, anyway? No. What kind of grapes? This is Muscado. Muscado? Yeah. I never heard that. What's that again? Muscado. Muscado? Yeah. Italian Muscarello. Muscarello? Yeah. What made you pick these grapes? Where they make them? No, what made you pick this kind of grape for your wine? We had in Italy too. You like you like the flavor? Yeah. They're Italian white grapes. So Muscalo? Muscado. Muscado. Okay, with Muscado, these Muscado grapes. The one the red one we do next. Yeah. That's a Zambardala. Sipendale? Yeah. Sipendale, Sipendala? Sipendale. Okay, we'll be back people. So we're gonna do a six gallon of white, and then we we'll get six gallon of red. So this is Muscato, Muscato pa? Yeah. Uh, Muscato vino, and then we're gonna do uh, the red, which is something there. We'll be back, suckers. Peace. Yeah, I put you on too. What this wine tastes like? And, uh, we, you can feel way down there. We got a five gallon. That's uh, that's four years already. It's the four red year. one. The red one. The red jug in there. It's four years old. The little jug in the corner, 15. right there is 15. You know what happened? And you people wonder why, what's this wine taste like? <laughs> You're not in the wolf pack, so you don't taste it. <laughs> That's right. You lose. You lose. We win. We'll be back, suckers. <laughs> so it's, the ball is filled. We're gonna be right now. We're gonna be doing our, our potty jugs. You got the touch. Yeah, he knows. I'd be sucking. Nice. Nice and look how that nice flow. Yeah. So people, this is our all natural Muscato pa mm -hmm. Muscato white wine potty jug right here. You people you probably wondering what's that wine taste like? <laughs> Sorry, on this only wolf pack. Muscato white wine. Pa, I never even heard those grapes, Muscato. You eat the grape one time though? Yeah, pa, but I never heard of Moscato. But the last time on the red, we put the Moscato. Yeah, well, I never heard Moscato grapes. Okay. Well, I must be living in 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 a closet. Now, now you know. And now I know. We'll be back when we do the Siphondale. Peace out, suckers. You get ready to put the other breather in. And that's gonna. We have two potty jugs so that's far sink, of uh, Moscato white wine. Uh, the winemaker using his Roberto rum. Pa, why do you use Roberto rum? For liquor, for the breather. Preserve it better. Preserve it better? Because yeah. the water will dissipate. You don't uh, have to change that, right? Uh, me, it just the says, water no, 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 drink no water, drink water. Right. Yeah. The bubbles still come up. But what, what, what made you pick Roberto rum? Tell him, cheapest. My father used to call me. Your father? <laughs> Roberto rum, right? <laughs> Oh, that's a 15 year, right? It's a 15 year jug right there. Watch out for that. I'll ask yeah, my father, I'll jack him up for that bottle. You push it, man? This one? Yeah. yeah. Pitbull helping out. Doing it. Close the book, get one. Get closer, huh? Yeah. The team effort here. 
Then we need to transfer your 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 wine. I just did mine like Friday. Okay. Thank you. We yeah. we rinse out the, the 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 cloth. It's better to use. Um, yeah, we use cheesecloth, but that that's better. Face yeah. cloth. The face cloth is better than the cheesecloth. I want to zoom in on. I can't go too close. To what we're we using? There's a beam. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. We're using uh Roberto Superior imported rum for the breather. Order this and like this. Yep. We had set up to do the sipping deal. We have two uh, potty jugs of the Moscato white wine. Things are happening. Lit up and up. Yeah. We're gonna potty tomorrow. We're gonna make sausage. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, we'll be back, suckers. Yes. Dave, Dave's gonna explain to you about the siphon holes with the stick. So I need to make one of these because the winemaker taught me how to make wine. But yeah, show the stick thing, Dave. He's got the sediment stick where the stick hits I mean, the bottom. Yep. And it's it's high enough for the hose to just siphon it out. Yeah, so we don't uh, you don't get the crap. None of the sediment gets through. Yeah, because you, you the stick will keep it above above yeah. from getting all the crap. Right. Otherwise, it gets in your wine. I tried it without it, and you have to like balance it. Yeah. You're doing this, this is the winemaker got it down. So I mix it. Uh, Another little, tip from the legendary winemaker. Yeah. Mm. Peace. That's right. And now, um. Oh, you got red too. Yeah. Hack that cover. Hack that cover, buddy. Yeah! Put up. I can't. I'm not gonna hold the one maker yeah. back. Yeah. Use your channel locks. A lot easier than pulling stems and seeds this year, huh? Mm -hmm. A lot easier than pulling the uh, yeah, 17 uh, hours you did last year. That's enough. Oh, you want me to pop that off? Okay. I'm going to camera so the pit bull is going to give my five hand getting that cover off. We'll be back to you. So this has been fermented for six months. And now we have to uh, siphon it into our glass jugs. So the hard way is crushing the grapes. This is the easy way where you buy pre-crushed, but you make sure you buy quality for quality people. You buy crap, your wine's gonna be crap. Can you dig it? We'll be back, people. Hey, the wine maker's set up for the last six gallons. We're doing the sipping deal. You want a glass of red? Yeah. Take like this. Yeah. Dave's gonna test the red. If you are, if you are a winemaker. How was it, Dave? Perfect. Yeah. No sulfites, no drugs, no nothing. And so you, you yeah, the other thing I forget to mention is uh, this is all natural. There's no sulfates in this. Right. So, you know, you don't need to take an aspirin to, to stop yourself from getting a headache. There's no headache with this. If you have it, right, wake up, wake up perfect after this. Right now you're watching a legend, the winemaker, an internet legend. Making wine the easy way. Can you dig it? As I reiterate, you buy these jugs, quality grapes, and it's pre crushed and it has to ferment for six months before you drain it. And then you put in a, a rum breather for two months, right, Pa? Two or three months if you want. Two or three months. A lot of liquor. A lot of liquor. <laughs> yep. We'll be back when we're ready to put the breather on and close them. Can you take a suckers? Peace. Fourth is uh, the red. I like the white too, but oh, the red. Oh yeah. That's my favorite. Very tasty. It's old school right here, baby. Old school. A legend. I like them both, but like Ed says, cooking, right? Cooking wise. Yeah, I, I use uh, the red more than the white. Could be the red and white. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, I use the red for the cooking. But In the fact, white is good though. Yeah, white's good too, clean. but you better give me a red before I go home today, sucker. Can you dig it? Yeah. Pa, you hear what I said? Mm. Did you hear me? I hear you. Yeah, I want a red bottle for I'm home. blind, no tapping. If you'll give me a red bottle, I'll steal the 15 year old uh, white wine bottle. Can you dig it? Yeah, that's it. We need to, we need to write 15 on there. Yeah. We'll be back, suckers. I had a market 15 year old for my father, so it doesn't mix up with the other white, white wine. Can you dig it? What do you need, Pa? Get back on the ground. A gallon? Yeah. Tight quarters here. I can't move. You can't move. <laughs>
We're gonna uh, do another potty jug. Cause um, these uh, glass jugs don't take all the six gallons of wine, so okay. probably yeah, five and a half. Do me a favor. Yeah. Go pass some water in there. Yeah, just shake it up. Yeah. If I told him, David, go miss the bottle of water. All around the yep. We'll be back to potty. Go Get on. a potty jug going. Almost done, people. We're getting a potty jug ready for tomorrow when we make sausage over here. Probably gonna use this red wine when I make when I make the sauce for my father. And how we gonna make the sauce? <laughs> With those babies right there. Can you dig it? That's right, you know your wolf pack. It's all made. Those, yeah, those are gotten to me, it's jog. Can you dig it? I'll be trying to clean out that corner. We'll be back, people. <clears throat> Doing a glass job, doing breather. Get okay, ready. Put the rump breather on. Dave shot underneath this, my father. Dave's gonna give him a couple hands. Okay, another potty jug. We have two potty jugs there. With the darker ones, the 15 year old wine. The pie jug for tomorrow. Okay. I'll probably using that red wine if I make when I make my sauce. Welcome back, suckers. <laughs> Making wine with the winemaker the easy way. We got a pa, you show pa. We got the potty jug here. I sponsor most of nice. Take part of that down right now. I'm taking it easy because I can do Saturday night sets because I'm training for the world championship in California. And that's not, it's not a professional drunk with me. Yeah, so I'm leaving it clean, I'm leaving a clean living right now. Now, it goes like this. Make a wine with the winemaker. Who gets to drink the stuff? Wolf pack. If you're on a wolf pack, then dream about it. And that's all you can do, suckers. Can you dig it? So thank you for joining us. 2011, making wine with the winemaker. The easy way. We did it the hard way last year, crushing grapes. But sometimes we get to do it the easy way. We buy your grapes, cool grapes. This is Moscato. Moscato part? Moscato. Moscato wine. The best of the business, the winemaker. The legend, can you dig it? Bro, peace out. Hi, Tiger. You need this?